upon these persons here present to witness here present to witness that I, Maxwell George Clayton Spence that I, Maxwell George Clayton Spence do take thee, Millie Jane Dyer do take thee, Millie Jane Dyer to be my lawful wedded wife to be my lawful wedded wife I call upon these persons here present to witness here present to witness that I, Millie Jane Dyer that I, Millie Jane Dyer, do take thee, Maxwell George Clayton Spence, do take thee, Maxwell George Clayton Spence, to be my lawful wedded husband, to be my lawful wedded husband. Millie, as I take you to be my wife, Millie, as I take you to be my wife, I promise to love you, I promise to love you, to honour and respect you, to honour and respect you, I will stand by you, I will stand by you, and be true to you always, and be true to you always. I will I will care for you. Laugh with you when you are happy. Laugh with you when you are happy. Comfort you when you are sad. Comfort you when you are sad. Whatever life may bring. Whatever life may bring. I will always love you. I will always love you. Maxwell, as I take you to be my husband. I promise to love you. I promise to love you. To honour and respect you. To honour and respect you. I will stand by you. I will stand by you. And be true to you always. And be true to you always. I will care for you. I will care for you. Laugh with you when you're happy. Laugh with you when you're happy. And comfort you when you're sad. And comfort you when you're sad. Whatever life may bring. Whatever life may bring. I will always love you. I will always love you. Millie, I give you this ring. Millie, I give you this ring. As a symbol of our love. As a symbol of our love. And as a lasting reminder and as a lasting reminder of the vows we have made here today of the vows we have made here today <laughs> Maxwell I give you this ring Maxwell I give you this ring as a symbol of our love as a symbol of our love and as a lasting reminder and as a lasting reminder of the vows we have made here today. of the vows we have made here today Maxwell and Millie you have both made the declarations prescribed by law and you have made a solemn and binding contract with each other here in the presence of your witnesses and guests this is the first day of your new married life together and we hope that today and your future will be filled with love and happiness. So I now have the greatest of pleasures in announcing that you are now husband and wife. <laughs>
my very dapper and handsome son-in-law. <laughs> I'm so happy to call you that, and from the moment I met you, I knew you were special to me. Now getting to know Max over the years, I've seen their love grow, how they complement each other and have supported each other through their degrees and years abroad, their careers and house move. Millie, I know how much you love Max. You light up when you're together and that makes me so very happy. It's incredibly rare that two people bring out the best in each other like you two do. You both clearly enhance each other's best characteristics and it makes you a real joy to be around. Uh, you're great fun on your own, but when you're, when you're together, you really come alive. Um, and looking at you now, I can see there's really nowhere else in the world that you'd rather be tonight. So Max and Millie, to a life full of adventures. Max is simply the best person I know, the best person in my life. He is kind, intelligent, unfailingly loyal. The last 11 and a bit years of my life have just been the best of my life with so many of life's highs and lows experienced together. We are a real team. Max, thank you so much for asking me to be your wife. To Max. When you think about what a best friend is, you're the person that I want to talk about my day with. You're the person whose opinion I want to hear. As I told you when I proposed to you, I just think you're brilliant. I'm so, so honoured to be your husband. I'm really excited to spend the rest of my life with you and experience everything life has in store together. I love you. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand if you're able to and raise a glass to my wonderful wife, Millie. <laughs>